Hi, this is Paul Bradby. I just want to go through something I actually go through nearly every day. I've got a lot of um, third-party trading indicator developers coming to me and saying, uh, this is the great indicator, can we have it on globaltradingsoftware.com? To date, there is only one, one third-party um, indicator on globaltradingsoftware.com, and that's the Divergence Cloud. Uh, and these guys have come up with a volatility crusher now so I'm going through testing and back testing on uh, futures uh, crypto forex and everything like that so I'm going to make this video video in parts I'm going to put it all together just go through to show you that you know for, for every I would I would say 50 um, people that come to me saying that our indicator is good for for global trading software.com can we partner uh, we only take about one okay and this uh, Divergence Cloud works very well combining with our Xprat and our harmonics and gives us that confirmation. Now, what uh, these guys have done is now come up with volatility, volatility crusher, so it's signals based. But again, I want to see how it works, pulling the strategy together. Just, you know, not necessarily looking at the win rates. It's a good feeling of, you know, at this moment in time, I've put the EMA Cloud there on there as well with. Um, with a 21 EMA and I'm just looking at these two these two particular trades right now so it spots an area of, of volatility here in this yellow box on the left and then we get a, a signal uh, a, a yellow uh, triangle down here for that signal to go low below here now at this moment in time it gives you a stop where these dots are at the top and that's too wide for me uh, and this is why I've added the the EMA cloud to say right okay where would my stop be for this okay so my stop would be if I just move this down just above the EMA cloud here at 21 EMA uh, where that signal candle is and a little bit like XBRAC when we get a signal we want to go short just below that signal candle that's our uh, risk if you like that's our stop loss and if I put a risk to reward on there again okay, this is something I do a lot not a lot get through but I'm actually I'm sharing this purely because I think this one might be listed on our website in the next month or so so um, quite happy with that so I want to just put my risk reward on there again um, make sure I've got the right one I want fib extension okay so again, that that was a one to two using the EMA cloud as the thing. So you know, when, when I'm working through this, I'm saying right, what what other indicators that we list already are going to be complementary to this strategy that will help traders? Because it's all right getting signals, but we need confirmation. We need to manage. We need uh, ideas of where we're going to enter this trade. So the next trade is, we get this long with the blue box. We get the the, the red tri uh, the blue triangle here saying. You know this this volatility has started to show us that we want to go along now as many of you know when I do uh, trade I always look left and look at these pivots here this was enough this was an attempt previously to move up long so that was the entry really even even though the higher the signal candle is here stop just below the EMA cloud here for that signal candle and again, this trade is still in because we'd managed this with the EMA cloud and it's still in. But again, what are we at now? What's my risk to reward? What is, you know, what's the average win rate here? You know, I've done, I've done a short, I've done a long on a metals futures. Uh, and that's, you know, we're at 1 to 1 1.6 and we've had a 1 to 2 there. Uh, you know, this, this starts to really look good. And I, I have to then consider other types of instruments. Um, what what best sort of EMA cloud setting is there? There's a tunnel down here, um, which uh, comes with this volatility crusher, but I don't really see a use for it at the moment because it colours the candles in anyway, the same as when we get the scion moves out of the tunnel here. For example, the scion moves out here. We get that it's, you know, I think less complicated is better and these really do spot great volatility and if we use a very sensible uh, entry strategy that I use with all indicators so if I can replicate the entry strategy on this new indicator put the EMA cloud in there to help me with my initial stop 
Um, obviously, if we're going short, we want to be below that EMA cloud. If we're long, we want to be above the EMA cloud and then use it to manage. All of a sudden, I've got a different strategy that's, that trades around volatility and it looks pretty good. So I'm going to continue, I'm going to look, uh, this is silver futures again, you know, when we look at this and we measure this type of trade here to the lows, you know, that's 40 ticks, that's 40 times $25 per tick for that trade there. You know, that that's, that's, that's serious, serious money, it's $500 trade. Uh, again, if we look at this long trade here to those highs with 32 ticks times $25 so you know again the, these are looking pretty good so so far on metals futures this is good my next stop will be index futures I think I'll do a test on there I'll look at crypto uh, I'll look at Forex as well and um, each time I'll make the video I'll compile the whole video together and you'll see all my trials and, and how I uh, say yes or no to to indicators to go on globaltradingsoftware.com Okay, so next test in the volatility crusher. We're looking at uh, ES now on the 15 minutes. So still on futures. I looked at silver as an example on the five minute, on the shorter time frame on metals. Uh, I usually trade um, ES, MES, that sort of thing, index futures on the 15 minutes. So I've gone to the 15 minute to have a look. Uh, and I'm reasonably impressed again here in that it spots the volatility. We get the yellow arrow pointing down. Again, with that entry strategy just below that uh, low of that signal candle and the stop just above the EMA cloud. Again, I've still set it to 21 at the moment. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll look at some alternatives in a minute that I will do if I was going up a time frame. But if we, if we look at this move down here, down to these lows, that's 294 ticks times $12.50. That's a big move. That is a really big move there. Um, let's have a look at the long here. Slightly wider stop here because it took a while to spot the volatility. It was way above the EMA cloud. But again, if I'm going to develop a strategy with this and we're going to list it on globaltradingsoftware.com, we need to have a, a simple and repeatable strategy. So using this EMA cloud here, for example, would give us quite a long, quite a big stop, a stop of 106 ticks. That's a big boy trade. That is a real big boy trade here. Um, uh, for at the moment, when we when we actually got took out there, 170 ticks profit times $12.50. It's that's a big trade as well. But the risk reward wasn't fantastic. And this is where I come in to say right okay what if I adjusted now the EMA cloud to 34 because we're on a 15 minute time frame how does that affect anything okay it affects getting out the short a little earlier it doesn't affect the stop and doesn't really affect getting out of the long so we go 55 does that make a difference if not then it looks like yeah it's it really makes very very little difference because this is a parabolic move so so far it doesn't you know being quite aggressive on the 21 seems to be the way to go uh, on this for both um, making sure we get the entries and for managing the trade so indexes look pretty good that's ES on the 15 minute I'm going to look at uh, crypto next okay so now uh, with the volatility crusher uh, trial continuing I'm on crypto on BTC USDT on the five minute and I'm seeing conflicting signals here on the five minutes so uh, you know one of the things is not to just to dismiss it it's for me to actually find where uh, this this type of instrument is in the groove with it if it is in the groove uh, with the volatility crusher here at the moment I'm seeing opposing trades right after one another and yes you know, but the longs really don't work at the moment, except for this third one. So one out of three is working. The shorts did work, and they were okay. Um, but I think that there's a bit of a conflict there. So it may be that we have to go on a much higher time frame um, for these. And I would have to then 
you see here that I again look at these the the, the shorts on Bitcoin on the 30 minute work very very well here um, but I think if you go to 30 minute it would have to definitely be on the 34 EMA cloud so again it's all it's just taking notes and understanding uh, what works what doesn't work uh, the settings for the EMA cloud um, maybe even 55 um, on here yeah I think that's better because you know I'm looking at three shorts that worked very well um, we would have got out the yeah the first trade held on to the EMA cloud you would have added it to the second volatility signal it hung on to it there but then finally took out and went above and closed up above here where my cursor is uh, but then we got more volatility and we got a short down here uh, which was probably about break even to be honest um, so I would say a larger time frame on crypto again if we look back the long here is fantastic as well so again part of my job is to um, to filter out the uh, a lot of these indicators that want to get listed onto uh, our uh, marketplace for trading indicators globaltradingsoftware.com and to find the ones that make the short list and then with that short list trial them across lots of different instruments and different time frames to see where they're in the groove now I would say looking at this primarily for futures we're good on the 5 and the 15 and those standard types of time frames for day trading I think with uh, with Bitcoin you know in this recent example I can see if I look back a little further longs good shorts good longs good the 30 minute time frame is fantastic uh, for this uh, but let's have a look at the 30 minute time from on, on Cardano for example does that work well uh, let's have a look Whoa, three shorts there looking very good and then it breaks and takes it out um, long was okay we've got two decent shorts coming down here great short here but again it's about the EMA cloud setting even at 55 it's pushing out and just stopping us out and coming back down again um, so I think I'm going to have to do a bit more work on on crypto really to see uh, let's have a look at mid-range price ethereum oh wow yeah three great trades on the 30 minute so as you can see i i would say 30 minute on crypto with this volatility crusher is crushing it pardon the pun um i just need to do a little bit more work on ema cloud settings though because a lot of volatility in, in crypto and this is a volatility crusher and I think we just need to be a little bit more conservative with this EMA cloud because um, we, we, we are getting, I mean, we're getting some bursts out. I mean, this short here is good, doesn't take the 55 out, doesn't take it out, doesn't take it out. Now we take it out, but again, we get another short here. So even though we've taken out of that trade and this, this if you got in it on that first trade, you're all the way down to this point here 6105 12 percent that's a great trade but then it spots more volatility coming down and you get in again here that move is about a break-even move because it comes to test the EMA cloud here so you know but this this big move initially uh, those first two moves were pretty good uh, and this you know just down to these lows here was was okay um, you know that was 10% 10, 10 is not bad we do have some pro, uh, target zones or levels on uh, here on the volatility crusher so they could be utilized to either tighten stops or just get out my, my, my type of strategy isn't isn't a take profit limit order because you look way back here these were the profit targets for this signal but using the EMA cloud it comes all the way down breaks even breaks down through this next signals target zone so you know there's, there's got to be a better way to manage this trade so I think if we were to list this uh, we would probably look at listing it with the EMA cloud so you've got to buy you've got to get both uh, to, to be more confident that our users are going to get the best out of this 
so that's crypto I think you know on a higher time frame uh, I like the 30 minute probably an hourly as maybe even four hour um, was good and, and again this is just a quick glimpse of obviously I do a lot more back testing but I want to give you a quick glimpse and the sort of things that I go through before we list something especially from a third party onto to global training software .com. okay so finally I always look at stocks as well with these particular new indicators and again this is a volatility uh, volatility crusher and stocks are usually in daily and four hour time frame uh, so I'm, I'm looking how this performs on the daily time frame my EMA cloud is going to be on 89 um, so these are a couple of trades I'm looking at NUE right now but I'm also in MDB, Dada, HDB and PKI so I'm just going to basically look at the stocks I'm in right now and has it has it performed well and I would say absolutely yes this NUE corporation which I'm looking for a long for right now on an Elliott wave so I'm already you know, this, it caught the beginning of this trend beautifully uh, with this, and it's not even tested the 89 moving average. And I'm looking for the, to trade this fifth wave up on here right now. Uh, but the short uh, back in the beginning of 2020 was great. Um, the the long here was great again, and again this last long on NUE, uh, you know, finding the beginning of that. Uh, trend was fantastic so for swing so we've looked at day trading with futures uh, with uh, different types of futures index metals we've looked at day trading and intraday with uh, crypto and now swing trading with stocks it's fantastic daily time frame looks really pretty good um, so this is NUE so I, I would say yes 89 movement EMA cloud together with this volatility crusher looks like uh, I'm leaning towards getting this listed. Uh, I've been doing a lot of back testing. It's not just on this video, but I just wanted to give you a glimpse of what I what I'm looking for. Uh, so to so when we actually list something, that we are able to give some indicators of what types of time frames or what types of instruments. And again, I think we're going to list this as a little bundle. With it. You, you, you've got to buy the EMA Cloud with this because without it, you you uh, it's going to struggle. Uh, to, to get the trades. MDB I'm already in at the moment. Um, I mean on the daily uh, I'm in this move up here right now. It's caught that move. Uh, it's caught a previous move with the 89 EMA cloud there and that one yeah I mean yes again um, I'm looking back on this volatility crusher and it is crushing it for swing trading stocks. It is really really hot. Dada uh, I think I'm on the weekly on this one but again on the daily we've got a good long got a good short here uh, we've got to look on the weekly well no I am on the daily. I must be on the daily with that um, but yeah it's not caught the long that I'm in at the moment um, but it doesn't catch everything uh, HDB again again look at this short here fantastic long here long 89 uh, EMA cloud is definitely the way to go with this PKI I'm on the weekly with this uh, and again you look at it on the weekly for these long-term investments this spotting the volatility and coming out of there probably uh, 89 yeah I would say 89 EMA cloud is good for the weekly as well HDB on the weekly uh, as well really really good signals here as well so again, when I'm looking back, I'm just looking at stocks I'm in. I'm looking at NVEE, for example. I'm looking for a trade on this right now. Uh, it's not in yet. I'm looking for it to break this sort of level. But um, you know, overall looks pretty. AMBA. I'm looking for a trade right now. Uh, we've got a couple of instances here where we've got opposing signals. Uh, this recent long though was fantastic. Uh, these longs are good shorts not too good on this particular stock here but then you know if you get this sort of indication you're looking at a particular stock and you see it doesn't behave very well on the shorts and you just don't take the short signals it's all about looking back looking left and understanding the behavior of each stock as well IRM is another one I'm looking at right now again this looks like it performs very well I mean to be honest I did get this trade earlier in the year with my inner circle we took this trade 
and we're looking at a wave four pullback right now to complete and then looking to add some more to that so I know I'm already in this uh, from a different strategy but it did pick up that beginning of this year 2021 it did pick up that uh, that move as well with that volatility crusher so yeah all in all uh, I'm happy hopefully you've you can you, you've gone through this video and you can understand how I've checked on different instruments different time frames looking for you know where it's in the groove looking you know the third party is wanting to put this on our website and I'm, I'm leaning towards actually let you know allowing this on one of those one in 50 that I look at um, but on the proviso that we sell the EMA cloud with it I think that might be the way to go hopefully that helps speech will really soon